Hi there, it's Kevin from RogueDuckBuilder.com with match number four of the standard daily with Bant, or sorry, with a uh, junk mid-range. Um, this is a keep hand. Uh, it's it's kind of slow, but I haven't seen Zombies or Riddick wins much in the dailies lately, so I'm gonna keep this hand. It's got all the the mana sources that I need, and uh, one more land we cast a threat us two more we cast our model worm, so we'll keep it and ship it to him. So I see a hidden you know, harbors here. I'm like, oh god, not another Bant control. I faced it twice already this matchup, and I'm exhausted from the long grindy matchups. But there's our there's our fifth mana source right there, and I see an invisible stalker. And now I'm actually even more scared because this is probably my worst matchup, either this or the mid range uh, American mid range. Uh, this is the deck that I'm playing against is called Bant Champions. What they do is they get a hexproof guy out and then just can uh, start putting the enchantments on him. And I have no sweepers. This deck is extremely vulnerable to um, any sort of sweeper, like Terminus or Supreme Verdict. But I have I have ze absolutely zero sweepers in my deck, and so a lot of times the guy's sustaining traps can just go to go to town on me. And especially if he gets like a Silverblade Paladin out and I can't block his stuff, a double striking uh, hexproof guy, eh, it's a good game. So. This hand's great though, especially since it seems like he's pretty slow. That we'll be able to gain at least 10 life off the Thraktus, 15 from the Restoration Angel, or we can just try to race him with the Armada Worm. So we're able to put the key rune out, uh, become a turn ahead of him that way, and it seems like he is very slow, just the Rancor. But I'm worried about a Silverblade Paladin next turn, so uh, I will throw out the, the Thraktus, and we'll just try to race him here. So he'll attack into it, and he'll throw out a Geist. And so this turn, we'll throw out an Armada Worm. And, you know, now he's got to think about blocking here. But he'll throw it on Johnny, and I don't know about that play. I don't, he's trying to race me here, and I end up taking a lot going to 8. But he's got to block. He's got to have an answer here for the Armada Worm. And I know I've got an, uh, another Thraktus and the Restoration Angel, so I'm I am a little worried because next turn Silvery Paladin, you know, could end me. But I'm able to save my Armada Worm from the Selesnya Charm, and uh, yeah, now he's facing down. He's got to kill me this turn, or otherwise he's facing down uh, 23 damage next turn, which he won't be able to block him or charm him all away. So this game's ours. Unless you can figure out a way, like I said, unless the Silver Blade Paladin comes down and bonds with the Angel Token, I can still actually block it, and I have enough blockers for, yeah, that way I would only take the three from the Invisible Stalker. So, yep, that's our game. We're able to race the Bant Enchantment, and we'll go on to the next one, which this is also a key pan, very, very fast. Well, first turn Temple Garden, Abyssin Pilgrim, and second turn Centaur Healer gives us a blocker for Geist Saint Traff, um, and whatnot. So he throws out Abyssin Pilgrim, and I'll match him with my own Abyssin Pilgrim, pass it back to him, and he misses the land drop. And this is why you don't keep one land hands. Now he's incredibly behind. I've got a Centaur Healer out, and I'm able to, if I want to, to bounce the Centaur Healer or eat him with Disciple Bullis. And so. Pass back to him, he bun across, and he misses again. And yeah, that that is that is a little bit unlucky, but but you know he makes a snide little comment about grabs on the free win, but it's his own. I mean, that's a bad keep. That is why you do not keep one land hands, kids. You you mull those. You I don't care how sick his hand was, you mull those because this is what happens. So yes, it is a free win, but it wasn't because of the MTGO MTGO generator. Uh, a little bit in part, it's because this guy kept a bad hand and he's being punished for it. So now we're able to get in for three and eat our Centaur Healer, giving us more life and more cards to work with. Now comes down his Invisible Stalker and he still misses the land. So yeah, very unlucky, but I mean he's, he's dead just for missing that from the second uh, turn because now I can just, I can outpace him with life gain and with card advantage here. So, I mean, even if he has Silver Blade Palgan and Anne Rancors, he's not going to be able to race me here. So anyway, we'll just keep attacking into him, and we'll throw out an Armada Worm again, and he's got to deal with it. 
which, you know, nothing he can do now deals with it. So another turn six, vic turn six victory. Even if he would have hit that land drop, this still would have been a decent game. But it's his own fault once again. I'm going to, you know, point it back to him. He shouldn't have kept that hand. He should have mulled. Um, so his own stubbornness lost in the game there for sure. Anyway, so we end up 3-1. Um, pretty funny that we won all of our matchups that I consider hard and lost our matchup, which I usually consider a free win versus Jun. But I guess Jun, when Jun does hit a Rakdos return on the on uh, the right spot or a bonfire, that's what usually is the only way they can beat us. And the games that he did beat us, that's exactly what happened. So 3-1, not bad, six packs and a qualifier point. Um, I'm only a few qualifier points away from a, a buy, at least one buy now for the end of season tournament and hopefully we can get another buy by that time. Uh, this has been Kevin from RogueDeckBlue.com. Thanks for watching.